the future belongs to young people with an education and the imagination to create today children we are going to discuss the future continuous tense in the previous video we discussed about the simple future tense the syntax and the instances and the places where it is used so as you can see here clearly in the picture the example given she will be dreaming until 11 o'clock tonight so uh, we have already studied about the present continuous tense the past continuous tense and we have seen that in all the continuous tenses ing form of the verb is used you can also refer my last videos on past continuous and the present continuous tense so it is very much clear that in the continuous tenses ing form of the verb is used ing form of the verb is only used in continuous tenses here is the instance where we use future continuous tense the very first one is overlapping of action for example i'll be waiting when you arrive so here two things are happening right someone is waiting and someone is arriving so when overlapping of action is going on then we use future continuous tense the next instance is future as a matter of course for example some incident which is which will be happening in future will come under future continuous tense and here in this picture it is clearly visible that the action which will start before and end after another time or action in the future something which is going to start and it will finish at after before certain instant for example michael will be jogging at 9 or he will be jogging when we eat right next is here i have uh, already discussed in my previous videos about the syntax and here also in the future continuous tense we'll be discussing the positive sentence the negative sentence and the interrogative sentence so the very first case is positive sentence where we use subject plus will plus be plus ing form of the verb and the rest of the sentence right that means the object for example i will be singing in the concert tomorrow now if we are going to change the same sentence in the negative uh, sentence it will become subject plus will plus not plus be plus ing form of the verb for example i will not be singing in the concert tomorrow and the last is interrogative where the syntax goes like will plus subject plus be plus ing form of the verb so the example is will you be singing in the concert tomorrow children i have uh, discussed about where to use will and shall students are often confused where to use will or shall with i and we as a subject we use shall but whenever the thing which is going to be definite agar koi kaam definitely ho raha hai then we use will whether it is i or v the next is here why future continuous tenses used in when it is used going through the simple uh, formula that is subject plus will plus be plus ing form of the verb it is used for interrupted actions in the future right some actions which are going to be happen in future for example when you get home i'll be watching this movie next is to ask something politely about the future if you are asking something about future for example will you be leaving mexico tonight the next is for specific time as an interruption in the future there is a time definite and we are talking about that for example we'll be having breakfast tomorrow morning at Nine o'clock. Here the time is fixed. Next is while expressing the intentions for the future. If you are having certain intention, if you are having something uh, something planned for the future, then also we use 
simple uh, sorry future continuous tense for example i'll be helping my mother during the weekend next is for the actions already happening now and expected to continue some time in future something which is happening now and it will continue in the future also for example we will still be dealing with this task in an hour the next is for parallel action or a series of parallel actions if uh, which i have already discussed that if two actions or more than two actions are going on simultaneously this time next week they'll be dancing chatting together and having fun here is a comparative study of the assertive positive negative and interrogative positive and uh, why type of questions sometimes say here generally what we do is while framing the interrogative sentence we put will before and then subject and then the rest of the sentence but sometimes we frame the questions by wh type for example wh means the word starting by wh that is why where when how so with these words also we frame interrogative sentences and in that case we use these words then will then subject then be plus ing form of the verb and the object along with the question mark so here are certain examples leading with these uh, formula and these uh syntax which you will be able to understand for example in the assertive sentences in the positive sentence i will be playing football tomorrow and if we change it in a negative sentence i will not be playing football tomorrow similarly there are other examples also which you can go through and next is interrogative will i be playing football it is just according to the syntax which is given and then wi type where will i be playing football tomorrow so like this we can frame different in types of interrogative sentence and positive and negative sentences now we will talk about the verb tenses see uh, since we have already discussed the simple present uh, simple tenses of past present and future and also the continuous tenses so that is why i am discussing this thing right now that so past means something which is already happened and here we use the second form of the verb now if we talk about the present form jo abhi chal raha hai right theek hai which is happening in present so something which is going on in present theek hai action which is mentioned and said that it is about its completeness jo khatam hone wala hai theek hai so now in this present tense what we do we use the first form of the verb and then the future tense which we have planned to do it in the future wahan pe kya use hota hai will plus first form of the verb and then we talk about the past continuous tense then we use the subject plus the form of be that is is am are according to the subject plus ing form of the verb theek hai that is used in the present continuous tense past continuous tense mein same subject B का फॉर्म दैट इज वॉज और वर्ड प्लस द आई एन जी फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ड एंड इन द फ्यूचर टेंस ऑल्सो वॉट वी डू वी यूज द सब्जेक्ट प्लस विल प्लस वर्ब का आई एन जी फॉर्म सो ह्योर इज अ शॉर्ट एक्सरसाइज विच रिक्वायर्स यू टू फिल द ब्लैंक्स यूजिंग फ्यूचर कंटिन्यूस टेंस एंड द वर्ब यूज इज गिवेन इन दी ब्रैकेट सो द वेरी फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज tomorrow by this time i dash to mumbai tomorrow by this time i future tense say that is why i will be using will i will be traveling will ke sath be be use hota hai right when we talk about the future continuous tense so i will be and the ing form of the word travel i will be traveling to mumbai the next is the students dash to exams next week So according to the syntax, will plus be plus ing form of the verb. The students will be studying for exams next week. Now the third sentence: Rajesh dash the trip with his friends. Rajesh will be enjoying the trip with his friends. Dhanush dash the online test. Dhanush will be attending. 
the online test. The last example, the committee dash the issue in the next meeting. The committee will be discussing the issue in the next meeting. Children, I hope you all are going on noting down the syntax which will make your work easier to understand the tense and to frame sentences on it. In case of any query, you can uh, raise your queries in the uh, comment box and also when I uh, take your classes. I hope you are able to understand the things and if not, I am there to help you out. Children, please take care of yourself, stay home and stay safe. Thank you.